over a third of the people who set resolutions or goals, whatever you want to call them, they completely abandon them by the time February comes around. That's crazy. It doesn't have to be that way. You really want to prioritize two key things. The first of which is to focus on progress, not perfection. Statistically speaking, and I've been doing this for a very long time, the people who fail again and again are those who try to take on too much at once. The people who succeed are those who take just a few small steps every day. So a perfect example of that. Let's say that you're somebody who's trying to lose some weight and get in shape. You work in an office, every day around 3.30 you get what? That crazy hunger craving. And so if you're not prepared, you are going to default to whatever is in front of you. And that often tends to be that cookie tray in the conference room or the brownies that are left over from some meeting and put in the kitchen or of course the old school vending machine. So you're going to default to what's in front of you. Set yourself up for success and take the small simple action of swapping that afternoon junk food with something very simple and healthy. If you're an office worker, you, uh, the easiest thing in the world is a pure protein bar. They're super clean, high protein content, which is gonna keep you fuller longer. Very important if you're trying to lose some weight. Plus it's the building block of lean muscle. Fantastic. You could keep it in your drawer, you could keep it in your bag, easy peasy on the go. If you have the opportunity to make a smoothie, that is my next immediate go-to. You can pack more nutrition in a glass than most people get in an entire day. Very simple, five-step template for making a perfect super smoothie. First thing you want to do is pick a veggie, preferably something green. Second thing you want to do is pick a fruit. That fruit is going to be packed with micronutrients, plus it's going to balance out the bitterness of the green veggie. Third thing, throw some pure protein whey powder in there. I like the vanilla, it tends to go very well with everything. Fourth thing, you want a healthy fat in there. That's going to come from a peanut butter, an almond butter, you can even use the whole nuts or seeds. Then you want to throw some liquid in there to balance it all out, make it a little thinner. Otherwise, you're going to have a glass of concrete sitting on your desk. And that can be as simple as water, or it could be an unsweetened almond milk. If you want a little bit of a buzz, throw some cold coffee or green tea in there. Blend it on up, and you're good to go. I actually have one of those little ser like single serving size blenders at my house. They're really easy, super easy cleanup. Plus, as soon as I'm done blending, I unscrew it, and that's the drinking vessel. I'm just right out the door. The key is to do things that are going to be accessible to you in your very real life. So if you don't have access to a gym or you don't have the time to work out for a long time, a few body weight moves done for high intensity are going to be your best friend. I love glute crushers. I love slow burns. Burpees are fantastic. We hate them because they're terrible and they hurt, but you got to love them because they work. Uh, now, if you go to keepontracksweepstakes.com, that's a website that Pure Protein and I have launched to help people keep on track with their New Year's goals throughout the entire year. So that this time, next year, you are standing in front of the mirror wondering whose abs are those? Sounds silly, but I'm serious. On that website, every week there'll be a brand new workout uploaded and you can enter for a chance to win VIP travel for two to New York for a private session with me.